Yeah, well, when we moved move? back to Austin, I had about $20 to put into a business, you know, so I took that money and the money I made and put it back into the business and took that money again, put it back and just kept using that, and keeping it separate, and putting it all back into the business. See, we opened the doors here in like the summer of 1997, so I've been here almost 20 years now. Uh, you know, her and I, or I started working, just kind of helping her. It wasn't even work to me as a, as a kid, kind of growing up and stuff like that. You know, just um, we did all kinds of stuff before we had the store, all focused around buying, selling, trading, retail. If you come here and you buy something for $50 and you go up the street and you see it for 300 you know, I think that's a good service for Austin. Mm -hmm. you know, it it's gets people who don't have the two million dollar houses an item that would be in one of those houses but at a reasonable price. We've had a lot of movie people come in and buy props for movies, you know, Grindhouse and um, Texas Chainsaw and um, Hope Floats. Can't even think all the movies that people have come in and loaded up trucks full of stuff. It's got a pretty good you know connection with a lot of those people that come in and they want to do the set designing or they need a special prop for a scene or something like that and you never know sometimes they'll call at one or two o'clock in the morning and say we need to make this room happen and we need to do this right now and she'll come running over here and meet them you know she's she's tough it's it's a seven days a week rain snow shine you know every day she's here she's really giving up everything to kind of you know keep it going and keep it all confined here. What closing statement do I have? <laughs> don't know. Just come on in and shop. <laughs> You'll love it. <laughs>